changing down. As soon as you hit the brakes, you should be going down through the gearbox to the gear that is correct for that corner. It is not important to know what gear you're in, as long as it is the correct gear for the corner. You know this by the engine RPM. Personally, for each corner I go into, I note how many gears I go down to get the right gear, not what gear I'm in. So for example, down one or down three, but you soon know if you are wrong because either the bike is not slowing enough and the engine RPM is low, or it's backing in and revving its bollocks off. While the bike is relatively upright during hard braking, it is not a problem to change to the correct gear. As long as this is done before you release the brakes and commit to the corner. I use one finger on the clutch and blip the throttle to smoothly match the down changes. Ever had a false neutral? The bike doesn't want to stop and wants to go straight on, pushing the front tyre ahead of it. The same is true in reverse. If you go down the gears and keep the engine braking at its maximum, so high engine RPM, the bike stops better, turns better and accelerates off the corner better. These are all extra little ways you can make time over someone who can't be bothered with extra gear changes. By using this technique, you can enter the corner much faster than you ever thought possible. This is not an easy thing to do, something that you build up to. Once you have it mastered, it is an incredibly useful skill for almost every corner of every track. I never use the rear brake on a four-stroke. I use engine braking, but this is a personal choice. When I rode 500 two-strokes in GPs, I had to learn to use the rear brake again because they have no engine braking. In order not to have to move my foot on right corners and for ground clearance, I chose to remove the foot-operated brake and fit a thumb-operated rear brake, which meant my hands were working the throttle, clutch, front and rear brakes all at the same time. Neither the rear brake or the engine braking is very efficient at stopping the bike in a straight line. They really come into effect once you lean over and there's some weight back on the rear tyre. I choose engine brake over rear brake on a four-stroke because you have to think about and control the rear brake. You don't have to control engine braking, the motor does it for you if you choose the right gears.